Peggy 16. You have to sacrifice everything in order to achieve your goal. Everything. You have to be um, sacrifice your family, your dignity, everything, because the objective is to accomplish the goal. And that's all I want to do. And um, that's why for my, my teachings and my learning, to only to be the master of, um, I don't know, almost like, like chi or yoga or like zen, in order to be the master of your own destiny, you have to be able to um, I don't know, disregard your happiness because our happiness is a form of our ego as well. And it's all about disintegrating the ego and being this objective individual, which is almost impossible without the ego. You know, the ego gives it purpose. So you have to have a purpose without a feeling, which um, I just know how to do. I can't even explain it. In the late 90s, your career took a different turn. Yeah. You got involved in WWE. And at the time, there was no one, no one in there, the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin. When you did that infamous moment with him, where you guys went face to face, what was going through your mind? That um, I'm with the big boy, you know, the blue kind of hard working guy come across. Um, Tough talker, but a big heart and stuff. All these guys, I know most guys are like that. I bet you Brock Lesnar was like that too. In the WWE 13 video game, people get to play Mike Tyson in his prime as a wrestler. And for example, again, Stone Cold Steve Austin mm -hmm. in his prime as a wrestler. What would have happened in a wrestling ring, not yeah. a boxing ring, if Stone Cold Steve Austin in his prime fought Iron Mike Tyson in his prime? I'm trying to think, I might have got him in the abdominal stretch. Power driver, I think I might have been able to pull it off. The big upset. The power driver would definitely give him a little sore head. No doubt about it. What was it like to be part of D Generation X? That, um, that's one of the highlights of my whole life at this moment, you know what I mean? Because um, it just uh, reached a different, um, a whole different um, broad set of individuals that I've never even been in touch with. That matter of fact, no that I've been a part of, that I've just been a part of that, um, the whole constituency of following these guys, knowing what's going on with these guys, knowing who's fighting who. And um, I'm just very grateful. And that's just all I can really say. That's all I'm trying to convey is gratitude. What were Triple H and Shawn Michaels like back in the 90s? Listen, man, I was just proud and happy and very grateful that they allowed me to be involved with that. Because um, I don't know if people really, I don't know, because I didn't know. I didn't know really how big that was, you know. I just did it, like again, for my selfish, um, my self grandeur. I wanted to be with them and on television with them. I want everybody to see me and think I'm somebody worship me. I've been on television with Degeneration X and I'm always giving the, the crotch chop. That's one of my prolific uh, moments in life, the crotch chop. And um, that's, just, um, that's just what it was about, just being selfish and being on there with them and showing off and stuff and getting the perks from being with these guys and showing off, you know, the, the, the wrestling groupie chicks and just whatever I got from that. I never even had the chance to tell them that to the ladies that really thank you, you guys really did a lot for me. They think that I helped them because of that thing with Ted Turner and them. They have no idea. They have no idea what they did for me. They just really don't. You know, they thought they were, probably they thought they were helping their own company though, but they did so much for me at that particular time that I was just so out. Nobody would touch me, I done bit this guy's ear. One of the interactive parts of WWE 13 is that the, the video game player can, can match anybody up against anybody. If, if Mike Tyson could fight anybody in this game, who would Mike Tyson fight inside the game? All right, current crop, wow. You have to go with either the Rock or John Cena. But then again, Randy Orton too. Those guys, yeah, those are the real hot guys. The big thing in WWE 13 is WWE Live, and it's, uh -huh. it's, it's all about the fan interaction and the fan experience. What does the energy from the crowd do for Mike Tyson? Really, implicitly. All fight, that's what we live for, the crowds. And the pat on the back, that's a big one too. The pat on the back and the crowds. You want your son to play Mike Tyson in the WWE video game? I remember my son loved WWE, so I would love him to always do anything that he would love to do, yes. Does Mike Tyson play video games? Big time. I play where I'm hunting down the zombies and stuff in the mansion and in the room and the headquarters and stuff. And I just can't get past level four. 
My nephews get to level 12 and stuff and got 1,000, 200,000 points. I just can't get past level four. You know, I plan on doing this when I'm, when I'm done. So this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in, re-energized, then I'm gonna shoot a bunch of guys to get re-energized. But you get caught up with killing, it's like a drug, you're entire kill, and you forget your plan. And then you get killed. Remember that Mike Tyson game? They came out. Every time I did my I got my ass kicked. I used to be horrible in fight games. You would think I'd be great in fight games, right? Because the fight games, I'm just, it's horrible. My wife is killing me. I'm getting wiped out all the time. My wife just killed me. Mike Tyson punched me. She's knocking me out. Who's a better video game player, you or your wife? My wife. No wife's doubt. Better you know, player? She's a beast. No doubt. Better, yes. I have to agree with that. Mike Tyson in WB13 has a chance to actually fight Brock Lesnar. Oh, I can't wait. The I baddest can't. man on the planet versus the baddest dude on the planet. Oh, Mike Tyson man. versus oh, Brock Lesnar. Man. Here it is on the spot. Pick them time. Who wins? Man, yeah, I think. You gotta watch. You gotta get the game. I just gotta get the game. Somebody's gonna win, though. I think it's me, but you gotta get the game to find out. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Rock in the bag, mother. I had a whip rock ass. <laughs> I hope I do it. Oh. Big Brock. Big Brock. His name should be Lightning Brock. Like a laser. Brock the laser. He's an impressive looking dude, right? Isn't that crazy? Woo. Big old strong. I wish I was a big dude.